No, mother. I promise. I'll be back right after school. I'm just gonna hang out with my friends. No, mom. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> How's it going, Coco? You've been running over your lines. It's going good? Is it going good? Mama, it's going great. I know all of my lines. I know I'm gonna get the role, so I have nothing to worry about because I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna show them what I got. And I'm gonna do what I do really quick. <laughs> okay, okay. I am so excited to see what you got. So, we know this is a very big opportunity, so you have to take it very seriously and give it all you got, Coco. Remember, there are big people coming to see. This can help with your college scholarships, and we really want you to get those, okay? Yeah, I know. So, you know, I'm really looking forward to having the main role, and once they see me, Mama, they're going to be like, Oh my goodness, it's gonna be like, it's Coco. Oh, what should my name be? Like my acting name should be like Coco Constantly Sleeper or like Coco the Store. Uh, okay, well, any of those sound <laughs> good. Um, But what about maybe let's try your name, Constant Shruti. I, I think that would be amazing. And I, I did name you that because cause I liked it. <laughs> Thank you, Mama, for the name. Um, you know, as I get older, um, there might be some changes, but I will consider Constant Streety. But for right now, I'm really going towards Coco the Star. But we'll see what my agent thinks. What agent? You don't even have an agent. Coco, you haven't got the role yet. Are you sure you have the lines together? I'm just speaking it into existence just like you taught me, Mama. But yes, I have the lines. I'm going to go up there and I'm going to show them that that's my role. Okay, I like that confidence. But as much as I like it, I want to see it. So let's go over these lines. For real, Mama, I got you. Looks like this is gonna be good. Okay, so you're Madison and I'll be reading for Anna, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? Madison, come here, please. Coming, mommy. Oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. Okay, um, Madison, how was your day today? It was grand, mommy. Jimmy and them played at the park and we had such a great time. I can't wait to go back again. I'm so happy to hear that, dear. And you know what's even better, Mommy? I decided to take my doggy to the store and we jumped rope. And then after that, we went ahead and went to Peter's house. And Peter, we had fun with. Because Peter gave us popcorn and a little bit of corn. Coco, that is not the line. What, you just decided to make up your own lines? Coco, this is a really big opportunity and you're going to mess it up. Oh, oh I, I, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay, Coco, it's okay. Just do like you rehearsed and do what's on the paper, okay? Okay. Okay, you got this. I'm so happy to hear that, dear. Me too. Because, you know, every time when I used to roll down the road, I used to go ahead and go, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. And every time they would come. No, 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 this is not. <laughs> this is not on the paper, Coco. Well, 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 it should be. I think how I change it up a little bit will really, really get their attention. And then they'll pick Coco. The star. I think that they wrote the lines like that for a reason, and I think you should do what's on the paper like we rehearsed. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pass on this one. This is for $10,000, so I think you're not. <laughs> I think I will. Not. Will. Not. Will. No, Coco, you will not. You've been wanting this opportunity for months. You finally got it, and you have to do it. Fine, you win. Mother, I'm coming. Please, Mom, can you please make the breakfast like you did last time? I really liked it. It was yum, yum, delicious. Yes, yes, Coco, those are the lines. Yes, 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 okay. That was good. Just give it a little more. Um, you got it, you got it. 
Mother, I'm coming. Can you please make the breakfast like you did last time? It was yum, yum, delicious. And that, that is why you're my little star. You know that, that is perfect. I'm called the star, oh, I love it, you are great. <laughs> yes, mommy, see, I told you, I got it. You just have to believe in me. That's all it takes. But go ahead and call my agent up and tell him the name, Coco the Star. Tell him to spell it with Coco, all caps, the, and with a star. <laughs> Oh, I see you wearing your grandpa's kente. I'm sure he's looking down from heaven, smiling on you right now. Happy Juneteenth, Coco. Happy Juneteenth, Mama. I'm just over here watching the show that was teaching me some more stuff about it. Did you know that on June 19, 1865, some soldiers came galloping up in Gavinston, Texas to free the rest of the slaves? And not only that, Mama, Abraham Lincoln had already freed them two years prior, so they didn't even know that they weren't really slaves anymore. That is awesome, Coco. I did know about it, but I am so glad that you learned about it too. Now, while you're watching this, don't fall asleep with that gum in your mouth. I won't, Mama. Don't you worry. I'm serious, Coco. Watch TV, but if you feel yourself falling asleep, spit it out. It's 2 p.m., Mama. It's too early to fall asleep. I'm wide awake. No sleep needed over here. Okay, just make sure you throw it out. You don't want what happened last time to happen again. That was not an easy task to get that out of your hair. Okay, KK! Coco, I'm not playing with you. Okay. Don't you fucking sleep, Coco. You know, I have to throw your gum out. Okay, I am all done with work, so I figured I would come join you. How about we watch our favorite movie? Coco, I know you don't still have that gum in your mouth. Coco, wake up! Huh? Did we make it to the moon yet? Oh, Mama, I didn't know you got an invite, too. Coco, there is no trip to the moon. Open your mouth. With, with my morning breath? Open it. Open. Ooh, close it. Ooh, ooh. Close it. Where is the gum that was in your mouth? What gum? The gum I told you not to fall asleep. I know. Is that it in your hair? Oh, oh that, that gum, um. I don't even, I don't know, mama. You, you talking about this gum? I specifically told you not to fall asleep with the gum in your mouth. Uh, mama, can I ask you a question? What, Coco? Um, did you ever think that maybe I didn't fall asleep with the gum in my mouth on purpose and that you probably should have told me to throw it away before I got in the bed. Really? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble.